hypersensitivity is an oversensitive state of the immune system. If you personify our immune system, then you might think that during hypersensitivity, our immune system overreacts to exposure to any pathogen or sometimes to the self antigens as well. And it increases the risk of autoimmune disorders and sometimes it is extremely uncomfortable and occasionally fatal. So it's a dangerous aspect of the immune system. In this video, we'll talk about type 3 hypersensitivity, which is prevalently immune complex mediated. Now, before learning about more this type 3 hypersensitivity, we should a little bit think about what happens during the complement pathway and how type 3 hypersensitivity is involved in that. So let's say there is a bacteria and this is a harmful one. So there are antibodies deposited against specific epitopes on these bacterial surfaces, which in, in turn attract C1Q and the C1Q complement convertase uh, protein, right? And then it cleaves several complement proteins such as C4, which give rise to C4A, C4B. It also cleaves C2 and many other complement protein. Now, eventually, there are other membrane-associated convertase complex known as C3 and C5 convertase complex, which convert further complement proteins into cleaved format. Now, out of these complement protein, like C3A, C2A, C4A, these are potent anaphylatoxin. That means they can be secreted from the bacteria and then they can go to nearby blood vessels which allow them to like mobilize neutrophil and the macrophage to the site of these bacterial infection. And this neutrophil and macrophage quickly recognize these uh, bacterial bacteria which are harmful because they have FC receptor which can bind to the uh, bind to the antibodies which are coating the bacteria. Now, one hand side, complement fixation can itself damage the bacteria. Now, there are several complexes such as uh, C3, C3B. These complexes attract macrophages and macrophages have C3B receptor against that. So, it helps the macrophage to get more directed towards the bacteria and engulf it. Otherwise, with a combination of all sort of uh, complement proteins in a cascade, it creates a membrane pore complex. In this membrane attack complex, it leads to osmotic disbalance and thereby lysis of the bacteria and thereby the bacteria is killed. In most of the cases, these complement proteins and the bacteria are cleared by the macrophages or the neutrophils. They are cleared by the scavenging system. And thereby, it cannot harm nearby cells. The complement proteins cannot harm the nearby cells. But in case of type 3 hypersensitivity reaction, what happens is there is too much production of these complement proteins and the complement uh, complexes. As a result, it is not cleared from the system and somewhere it gets circulated into the bloodstream and somewhere gets deposited into the blood uh, into the blood vessels and create consequences. In order to understand that, we take an example. Let's say a snake has bitten you. Now, you know, this snake is poisonous snake, so it would have a toxin. And this toxin is entered your bloodstream. In order to neutralize this toxin, you need an antibody, which would be eventually cleared up and neutralizing this toxin. So this toxin cannot do what it is supposed to do. Now, you would inject yourself with an antiserum. Now, the antiserum is nothing but anti serum from an animal which is previously bitten by the same, same snake. So clearly this anti serum would neutralize the antigen and thereby save your body. But the problem is this serum is derived from an animal which is either a rabbit or let's say a mouse something like that. But this species of antibody would be detected as foreign in your system. Now, your system would mount an immune response against that. And what would happen, the antibodies would be itself serving like an antigen and several antibodies would be producing pr produced against them. Now, most of the cases, these big complexes are cleared out by the macrophages because it has 
FC receptors, but when it is produced in very high amount, macrophages cannot clear all of these mess. As a result, macrophages and neutrophil try to clear it, but several of these immune complexes circulate around the bloodstream. Now what happens is that they get deposited onto the blood vessel wall. Now once they are deposited into the blood vessel wall, first thing they can do is attract neutrophils basophils and many other granulocytes which would eventually secrete several cytokines which are pro-inflammatory like interleukin 6, interleukin 1. Not only it would attract more such immune cells to the site but it would also have damaging effects to the blood vessel wall. It can also lead to vasodilation and later on show several symptoms of inflammation. These immune complexes are specially relevant in case of an autoimmune disease like rheumoid arthritis. In rheumoid arthritis, a complex of complement proteins, IgG, IgM, etc. are deposited in the joints and which mounts a huge immune response and inflammatory response in this joint which would lead to deformity of the joint and degradation of the bone structure. This, this is actually due to a type 3 hypersensitive response. Not only this, lupus and many other things, may, uh, the farmer's disease, all these things are actually examples of type 3 hypersensitive response and all of these disease has a common theme. That the increased or hiked immune response that our body display is due to excessive production of these complement and complement cascade proteins and a complex of complement and antibody reactions. This was a video on overview of type 3 hypersensitivity. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.